14 shootings, 17 victims. Those are the unnerving numbers that mark the past three days of gun violence in our city. 680's Carl Hansky was on scene of the latest case of bullets flying just around midnight. The last shooting of the long weekend occurred here in this parking lot area by Lawrence and Moss Bank Drive in South Scarborough. A man in his 30s came within less than a centimeter of dying. The bullet just missed an artery. He's now in hospital. It has been a very violent year in Toronto so far. So far, there have been over 350 shooting victims in the city so far this year. 75 in July alone. And it looks like August is starting off very busy. And those numbers are alarming, enough so that the police chief held a rare news conference on a holiday Monday to say that more resources are being uh, deployed to help temper the violence. But today we are hearing concerns that are being raised by the president of the Toronto Police Association who says what we saw over the weekend, all of that violence, it's not a blip, it's the new norm and not enough is being done to stop it. No, it's not a surge in gun violence. And what we've seen since 2014 is a steady increase in gun violence. It has been a violent start to the year. Since January, 365 people have been hit by bullets, and the disturbing trend continued over the long weekend. The 14 shootings happened all over the city, from Liberty Village to Lawrence Heights. In North York, five people were shot when bullets rang out at a nightclub in the Keel and Finch area. Toronto Police Union head Mike McCormick is voicing concerns. We saw two weeks ago six people shot on the weekend. We saw a weekend or two weekends before that four people shot. We saw people shot at the Raptors parade, people shot at a playground. So to, then now it's outrageous because 14 shootings, 17 victims. Well, you know, this has been what gun violence is and this is the new normal because there's no plan and there's no proactive piece to deal with this. Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders held a rare holiday news conference to say more resources are being deployed to help crack down on the violence. But McCormick is questioning that action plan, telling me resources are tapped and officers are burnt out. Where is he getting these resources from when we've gone from 5,630 police officers down to 4,700? When I'm putting six uniformed police officers out of one of the busiest divisions in downtown Toronto. I'm not interested in the divide factor. He's, he's incorrect on, on quite a few points, but that's another day, another discussion. Police chief knocked down McCormick's claims when he sat down with our Tammy Sutherland this morning on breakfast television to talk about the shooting investigations and public safety. What I'll tell people is that from the evidence we have so far, a lot of these were, were targeted. Um, we're trying to figure out the story as to why. So it was specific people shooting at specific people. Minus the incident at District 45 Club where th that was just randomness and stupidity. And the last piece is uh, you've got to work with us. You have to cooperate. The vast majority of cases that we solve is because people give us that evidence to help us make those apprehensions. Mayor John Tory is also voicing his frustrations and tells me it's time to regroup. What would you like to see happen you know, as of as of today, just to tackle what we're dealing with today? Well, I think we have to sit down again, and it won't be the first time we've done it, and, and decide, you know, can we invest more in kids and families and neighbourhoods? Um, what legal changes can we make? I mean, I happen to believe right now the message is often not sent clearly enough that gun criminals, people who are convicted of these offences, are going to be very severely dealt with so that it sends a message loud and clear. While this is still a relatively safe city, a very safe city, in fact, by the numbers, we have to uh, you know, figure out how we can stop people from even being interested in carrying a gun. And I think that will then obviously mean they don't use it. Now, according to Police Chief Mark Saunders, investigators have been piecing together some of the storylines that are connected to the targeted shootings. And uh, he says it's only a matter of time before arrests are made. Police are still asking witnesses to come forward. If you saw something over the weekend, you are being asked to uh, call police with that information. You can also send an anonymous tip through Crime Stoppers.